Hello, everyone. Today, I'm going to talk about which direction you should face when practicing Baji Chuan and why. This is part of the Chinese martial arts culture and classical culture. So, if you are serious about learning Baji Chuan and Chinese culture, this is something you should definitely know. In short, when you practice Baji Chuan, you should stand facing south, Mian Nan. If conditions don't permit, your second best option would be standing facing west, Mian Xi. If neither of these facing directions is possible, you should stand in the northeast or northwest facing southwest or southeast. You should never practice facing the sun for the simple reason it would make your eyes uncomfortable. And you should never face the north as it is directly against the tradition of facing the south. These rules are not limited to Baji Chuan. Basically, most traditional Chinese martial arts require the same. So you should know these rules and follow them as best as you can. Why? In ancient Chinese culture, directions are very important in many aspects of social life. Almost all ancient buildings in China were built facing the south. The emperor always sat in the north, facing south. Let me explain the reason. In Chinese classic Dao De Jing or Tao Te Ching, Lao Zi said, Wan Wu Fu Yin Er Bao Yang, everything carries in on its back and embraces yang. Both yin and yang have many properties. Two of these properties are coldness and hotness. We regard something cold as yin, something warm or hot as yang. If you look at where China is located, you see the north of China is colder, so it has more yin energy, while the south of China is warmer with more yang energy. When you face the south, it's like you carry yin energy on your back and embrace the yang energy in front. Further, in traditional Chinese medicine, the back of your body, where Du Meridian is located, belongs to yang, and the front of your body, where Ren Meridian is located, belongs to yin. I mentioned these two meridians in an earlier episode about Baji Chuan breathing. So when you are your back, yang is facing the north, yin, they form a yin-yang balance. The same is true for your front, yin, and south, yang. So when you practice Baji Chuan, facing south is the best option. Besides, if you build your house facing the south, you receive most of the sunshine during the day because the sun rises from the east and sets in the west. In addition, when you face the south, east is on your left and west is on your right. In Chinese culture, east corresponds to spring while west corresponds to autumn. As we sow seeds in spring and reap in autumn, so in ancient Chinese culture, male property is assigned to the east and the female to the west. In another Chinese classic, The Book of Changes, Yi Jing, the symbols for the east and the west are Zhen and Dui, respectively. Zhen is also a representation of the eldest son, Zhang Zi, while Dui is the representation of the youngest daughter, Shao Nu. For this reason, when a son was born in Zhou Dynasty, that is about 2000 uh, to 3,000 years ago, the family would hang a bow on the left or east side of the door. If a daughter was born, they would hang a handkerchief on the right or west side of the door. Also, as martial artists, we salute by cupping our right fist in our left hand. This actually evolved from Zhou Dynasty way of salutation by putting the left hand over the right hand, which means the yang left hand is enclosing the yin right hand. For females, they did the opposite. If you observe carefully in Mengsun where there are many Muslims, you see people use the right palm to enclose the left fist like this. That's because for Muslims, when doing prayers, the right hand is over the left hand. So it is an adapted version of this ancient Chinese custom. Now you know why when practicing Mengsun Baji Chuan, you should follow that tradition. 
as it is already part of the routine and culture. Now I'll talk a little bit about the second option. That is, you stand in the east facing west. In Chinese culture, east is the position for the host. In ancient China, for example, when you invite someone to your house, you sit in the east and your guest should sit in the west. So when you practice martial arts, you start from the host position. Also, as we mentioned earlier, the symbol for the east in the Book of Changes is Zhen. It represents not only spring, but also thunder or starting to move. Since you start practice or start to move, it is in accordance with the meaning of this position. Can you disregard these rules? Well, as long as you still think you are practicing Chinese martial arts, the answer is no. Because this is a common convention, a qualified teacher should teach their students where they should stand and which direction they should face when practicing. Furthermore, when you practice sparring routines with a partner, the person facing south or west is always the attacking side, while the other party is on the defending side. You see, it totally depends on where you stand. So you no longer need to ask whether you are performing the attacking or defending side. Knowing your directions is very important when you visit other martial artists and are invited to perform at their place. You don't need to bring a compass with you. Just observe in which direction they face when they practice. You should face the same direction. If you don't have this knowledge or don't even care about this, your host won't say a word these days, but they would think to themselves, these people don't even know the basic rules and etiquette. Who taught them? So next time when you practice, take these things into your consideration. It is even better if you can explain to other people why this is so. I hope you enjoyed today's talk. See you next time.